let's talk. Yeah. You've seen what you've described in various portions from Charles Dickens to Hayek and Keynes. What constitutes economic genius? How do you compare that genius with the current practice of economics? What do you see happening now? What would you recommend to the economics profession given what you've learned about how to alter its practices? Economics is, you know, as a profession, is incredibly vibrant. Okay. Now, the action has shifted to things like, um, um, like game theory and Kahneman's um, you know, quasi-rationality and, and you know, Eleanor Ostrom all work on the border of, of uh, economics and political science. And we don't know what, what practical applications those ideas will have. And, you know, when, say, Fisher and Keynes were, were developing their theories, they weren't uh, necessarily regarded as geniuses or embraced. You know, it's not that, um, I mean, economists don't, are always telling us not to, um, you know, not to try to time the market, right? Or time, you know, or pretend that we can, you know, get the turning point of the economy. But they have, they have some very good ideas for um, how to protect one's in individually. Like Fisher was the one who came up with the idea that you should ha have a diversified portfolio. Keynes, by the way, thought that the greatest investment strategy, this is when he became the head of an insurance company, was to have to own one stock every day, hold it for the day, and sell it. Which, <laughs> which shows you that even someone who's in the long run really the smart, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, and uh, you know, and certainly they had a a way of getting out of slumps, right? It reminds me of the stories of Ernest Shackleton, the yes. uh, great explorer Amundsen, oh, yeah. Yeah. who discovered the South Pole. They asked him about Shackleton. He said, "When you're in a mess." There's no better guy than Shackleton to get you out, but when Shackleton leads an expedition, you're almost certain to get into a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hope to see you again and again, and uh, thanks whether it's with the beautiful mind or the grand pursuit for illuminating so much about the history of this profession. Thank you. It's fun to talk.